Hello everyone and welcome. In this lecture, we'll quickly see these plots. As usual, we start by importing the modules and libraries that we need. I copied this from our previous lecture. So we'll be using NumPy's run and method for generating a random a list of random numbers. So let's start by creating those. So np.random that the method name is rand n and let's create a list of 150 normally distributed random numbers. Okay. And let's save this in a variable called number. And what we'll do is Seaborn has a method known as distplot. Then we'll pass the randomly generated numbers. So these plots by default have histograms and a kernel density estimate. Let me run it and show you. So this is a default graph for these plots. We have a histogram and a KDE. Okay. And we can pass the color attribute to change the color of our disk plot. So we can set the color to be, let's say red, we can do that, or any other color that you want. We can also label our X axis. Let's see how we can do that. Let's first create a series object by using panda series method, and then we'll pass our number here, a list of randomly generated numbers here. So we'll pass num and then name for our series. Let's name it what? Let's say variable x or whatever. And let's save this in another variable. Let's call it labeled dist plot. So label dist. Now we can call the dist plot method and then pass our label dist object that way the x-axis will have a label variable x we can also make our plots appear on the y-axis by passing the vertical attribute let's do that so we have our name is label dist sns that dist plot and then we we'll pass our label this object and then we'll pass the vertical attribute and set it to be equal to true if you run it now the plot appears the this plot appears on the y-axis let's copy this and paste it here if we want to change the default color of blue we can pass the color attribute and set it to let's say red run it now it's red you can pass any color that you want again by default we have histogram and a kde and if we don't want to see the histogram we can pass another attribute known as hist and set it to be equal to false let's see how to do that so sns that this plot and then we pass our we pass our label dist object and then pass the hist attribute and set it to be equal to false and run it. Now we only have a KDE. So this is similar to a univariate KDE plot. Again, instead of a histogram, we can pass the reg attribute and set it to be equal to true so we can set reg is equal to true so now instead of a histogram we'll see a reg plot for each of our data set for each of our data point so that's a reg plot with kde for our disk plot and we can change the color by passing the color attribute again color is equal to let's say green run it 
now we have green for our dist plots okay that's what i have for this lecture just to summarize we looked at dist plots in this lecture and we saw that by default a dist plot has histogram and kde and we can change the default histogram to let's say a reg by passing the reg attribute or we can simply say set it to be false by passing the hist attribute and if we want to make the this flat appear on the y-axis we can pass the vertical attribute and set it to true thank you everyone